There are, there are many directions one can, one can go in the art world. Um, in my community, unfortunately, we have a very one-dimensional view of art. Art is about being able to draw and paint fantastically. And it's not, it's not about just about that, you know? Um, uh, so, so there are many different branches in the art world that one can follow. Um, there's music, writing, you know, painting, dance, theater. I, I believe all these things are part of what one would call the art world, you know. So if you have a sense, have a, a good sense of um, what, you, what, you, what you like, um, what your desires are, um, then I believe you'll be able to make a, a proper decision as to which kind of direction you will go, you know. But having gone into a particular direction, the biggest problem is being able to survive in that world. I mean, this is really very, very, very difficult, especially, especially now. Um, although it's always been difficult, it's, it's getting more and more difficult because we're living in a very a kind of a changing world. Um, but if I look at myself as an example, I've been able to do art all my life. And um, art is, for me, the greatest entrepreneurial um, uh, experience that one can, can have. Um, I, I believe an artist is the original entrepreneur and is the ultimate entrepreneur, you know, because he has to, he has to survive with what he is doing in his little world, you know. Um, so, if you have a very, very uh, developed entrepreneurial sense and a confident kind of personality, I believe you could survive. But I, I, I believe these things have to be nurtured in your art environment. Um, and if, if, if the art teachers are of a very good quality, I believe that this, can, this nurturing can happen because um, you have to develop that kind of confidence yeah, that kind of confidence of your place in the world and that kind of confidence that you have with, your, with yourself. I think I'm, I'm probably a bit different to the normal uh, artist kind of lifestyle that I've had. I think firstly, what has helped me a lot in my life is, is the times that where I was a teacher in, in the education system. Because I, I, I don't always believe that I was a very confident person. But I think having been a, a teacher for such a long time, I developed the kind of confidence that I needed to encourage later on that I, that I needed in order to uh, follow this path on my own. Um, so I think a, 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 a high level of confidence is very, very important. One of the functions that art had in my life was the sense of healing. I, 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 I think it's very important in art. If people can understand that spiritually it has this power, I think it can be, it can be very beneficial if th this kind of thing about art can be communicated by, by the, the people who are, you know, um, who are responsible for, for developing young people in the art world, you know. Um, and then to make sure that the, 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 the ruthless um, economic side is not given such a lot of importance in the beginning. The passion can make you develop um, very strongly your artwork, your chosen uh, path. So, but if I look at myself, I, I would think it's my passionate involvement with the art and what it meant for me personally in terms of being a healing force for me in my life. So it fulfilled a lot of needs that I had.
Um, but I had to recognize this very early on uh, in order to understand what sort of role it could play in my life.